You know, risk is a part of life. We all take risks every day. We take risks, we get in a car and we drive down the street, go on the highway. We take risks with our health. Got a pandemic going on these days. We take risks with that. We take risks on our job. We take risks with our marketing. We take risks with hiring people. We take lots of risks in our life. And some risks are bigger than others that we take. But if you really, really, really want to achieve your goals that you have in your life, you've got to be able to take bolder risks. And, you know, you can't get through life without taking a risk. So I'm going to talk just briefly this morning about how you can use the power of positive risk taking in order to achieve the goals that you have, in order to get further down the road, in order to achieve the business that you want to achieve. The first step that you need to take in order to be, to take risk, to be bolder in your risk taking is to avoid negativity. We get so hung up on the negative things that happen in our lives and the negative talk that people have and we tend to exaggerate how risky things are, the actions that we might want to take or different things we want to do. We exaggerate and we put this negative thought in our mind about how risky it's going to be to do this and do this undertaking. But at the same time, we underestimate the opportunities of taking risk. Because when you take risk, you're pushing the envelope. You're finding new opportunities. You're saying, yes, I'm going to try that. And new opportunities will present themselves. You know, risk is everywhere. It's not something you can avoid. I suppose you can. It's a little difficult to avoid risk. I suppose you could. But risk is everywhere. So the key is to not focus on the consequences of the risk. Don't fixate on it. Don't spend a lot of time focusing on the consequences of risks that you don't take. You know, we spend so much time fearing the outcome of taking this risk. And we spend so much time focusing on it, but we never do it. So you need to focus on taking the right kinds of risk that will give you the right kind of opportunities so that you can grow and you can pursue what you want in your life. If you don't take risks, there is certain failure to come because life is about risk. You'll never get anywhere that you want if you don't take risk. The second thing you need to do to become a bolder person is to build a success habit. Small measured risk taking can build confidence in yourself, can build your skills, can build your knowledge, can build your own self-worth and confidence that you can do more. The more times that you try and the better that you get at it, the more easier it is to take risks and the better that you'll feel because you are taking these risks and about taking risk because you'll find that it's not as scary as maybe you thought it was. The third thing you need to do to become more bold is to be smart with your risks. Well, what do you mean smart? Well, have a plan. Know where you're going. Know what you want to do. Have a goal for the risk that you're going to take. Set a goal so that you know if you take this step and you take this risk, what your expected outcome is. Be smart with it. Smart risk taking will pay off in the end because you'll know that you got, you got there. You'll know that the outcome was good if you know where you're going. The fourth way to become bolder is to know that failure is an option. If you expect to fail, and if you expect failure to happen, you won't be so traumatized by it when it does, because I promise you it will happen. So if you expect failure, if you know that failure is an option, it won't be so hard if it does happen. It'll help you take smarter risks, because you know failure is going to happen, so don't just go out and blindly do something. Take an action. Be, be strategic about it and make sure that the risks that you take are smart, that you're being intelligent about it. Know that failure is an option, but make sure that you have a plan to handle it without the fear of the unexpected because the failure will come, the failure will happen, and if you know that it will happen and you keep working towards your goal, then you can get through it. And the last way, the last thing you need to do to be bolder, just do it. Take action. You know, be like Nike. Just do it. Take action on it. 
you can't analyze an opportunity to death. It's called analysis by paralysis. You'll just sit there paralyzed. At some point, you need to just listen to your gut and go do it and take the action, take the risk, because you've analyzed it enough, you know that this is something you should be doing. Life is full of risk. And you know, if you want to have a full life, you've got to take risk. A full life comes from risk. The good things that you have in life are because you stepped out and you raised your hand and you said, I'll do that, I'll try that, I will take that risk. When you go apply for a job for the very first time in your life, you're taking a risk that somebody's going to hire you. How cool is that? And then you got a job, then you got the next one because you found out that the, the fear of that failure wasn't so bad, you'll go try it again. Learn to be bolder. Learn to take smarter risks. And you'll find that it wasn't so difficult. And you'll find that what you were afraid of and what you, your fears were when you were thinking about it weren't all that big a deal. <laughs> it wasn't that. Our fears are bigger than, oh, I'm going to say this. Our fear is bigger than our failure. Hmm. I have to think about that. Do I like that? Our fear of failure is bigger than the failure that may come because we blow it out of proportion. And so we need to act with boldness. If you've got something you want to accomplish and you're afraid to take the risk, maybe you just need to stop analyzing it and stop being so afraid and create a plan and take the risk and see if you can accomplish what it is you really want to accomplish. That's where true success lies in the path towards accomplishment and getting through the fear and overcoming the risk and achieving what you want to achieve. And then you can create a much fuller life because you're able to get past your fear of, of taking risk and step out on the other side of where that lives and find the joy in life that comes from all of the exciting things that life has to offer, offer and new opportunities will come your way. So learn to be bolder Learn to take bolder risks and live a fuller life. This is Mark Schinnerer with your Wednesday Wisdom. I hope you have a great day, the rest of your week. I'll be back and talk to you tomorrow.